Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey in Daytona, Florida. So I've had two customers this week that had the same issue, so I figured I'd make a quick video about it. Um, if you have a big audio setup on your bike and you have your bike plugged into a tender, you cannot be playing the music full blast in your garage because what happens is most of these tenders are just designed to top off the battery. Most of these tenders are five amps, six amps. The stator on the motorcycle is 50 amps. A lot of these audio systems, like our Stage 5, Stage 6s, draw well over 200 amps of current. So what happens is, as you have the tender plugged in, you're overriding the capacity of the battery and pulling straight from the tender. The tender can only provide four, five, six amps of current. Your system's drawing over 100 amps of current. It actually ends up melting the plug on the tender, melting the plug on the bike, if you have it plugged into the factory Harley tender, if you have it plugged in directly to the battery, it actually burns out the battery tender. So what, um, if you're gonna put, there's no problem with playing audio on your garage, actually disconnect the tender. That way you're drawing only from the battery. Then when you're ready to charge it, plug the tender back in, or even better start or ride the bike because the tender can only supply 10, less than 10 amps of current. If you start the bike, you can supply 50 amps of current. So the bike will literally charge the battery 10 times faster than the tender can. Here at the shop, when we demo bikes, when we're tuning bikes, we actually have a 15 amp power supply hooked up. So we have like 10 of the cheap Harbor Freight ones that we use to keep the battery topped off while we tune. If it's a big, big build, I actually have a 200 amp power supply, which I'll show you in a minute. So and that supplies 200 amps of current the entire time we're beating on the bike. So this works really well on a bike that has one, two, three, four batteries because it can supply 200 amps of current on top of what the batteries can supply while we're playing the bike. The little battery tender is not designed to do that. It's literally designed to just top off the battery and refresh the battery. It's not designed to supply current to the battery while you're playing the audio, pulling 30, 40, 50, 60 amps, 100 amps of current. So um, we had a client destroy a braille tender and we had a client destroy a limitless tender. Actually on the limitless, it just blew the fuse. So we just had to replace the fuse on the bike and everything's good now. But um, if you're playing the bike loud for an extended period of time, disconnect the tender. The tender's not designed to be a power supply for the battery. Here's our 200 amp power supply that we use. That has more than enough current to keep the batteries charged while we're demoing and tuning the bigger setups. Here's the limitless. It's only 3.5 amps. So if your setup draws, and 3.5 amps is not a lot. Um, if your setup draws, like for example, a 3000.1 at full tilt, will draw over 200 amps of current. So if you have 3.5 amps going in, as you're drawing 200 amps, this is just gonna drain the battery really, really fast. And then you're gonna override the fuse and blow the fuse or destroy the maintainer. If you have it plugged in through the tender plug, these only support, they support less than 10 amps of current. You can tell by how thin the wire is. It actually melts the plug. I've had clients melt the plug so bad, this prong has actually fallen off. So as you can see, we have our victory on the tender. Green light's on, so it's charged. If we were to play the bike really loud, we would disconnect the tender. That way we don't override the current capacity of the tender while we're demoing it. This is the older Braille. Braille now uses the Optimate, but as you can see there, it's six amps. So it's about double the output of the limitless tender. Doesn't mean it's better, it's just designed to give double the output, but it's still only six amps. If you play your loud stereo, you will blow the fuse, this fuse, on the tender. It's not a charger, it's a tender, it's a maintainer. When you are charging your battery, one of these, let's say it normally takes an hour to charge, that's if you have one battery. If you have two batteries, it would take two hours and so on and so forth. If you're going to be doing any kind of playing with the bike off, every company, whether it's Braille, Excess Power, Limitless, make their own more powerful chargers. As you can see, this one's a 25 amp. This is a 50 amp. So it comes with much thicker cables because obviously it's passing way more current. And then these don't have a tender plug. These get hooked up directly to the battery or the starter. 
then Limitless offers the three amp, 3.5 amp. I'm not even sure what size that one is, but here we have the eight amp and the 25 amp. And as you can see, there's a considerable price difference starting at $89 going up to $240. So even with this hooked up, you have to be careful full volume because this only supplies 50 amps of current. If you're doing a system, let's say it's got a 2400 and a 3K and an 800, you're gonna be drawing well over to 300 amps of current. So even with these, you have to be careful. We always recommend using the manufacturer's charger, but this is the charger that we like from Harbor Freight. It's 80 bucks. You could put it in 15 amp mode when you're tuning. So it'll give you, it'll keep the battery topped off as you're tuning like a stage one, stage two, stage three, even a stage five, as long as you don't have it at full volume. Um, I always recommend the charger that came with the battery. So if you're using a limitless battery, use a limitless charger. If you're using a braille battery, use a braille or an optimate charger and so on and so forth. But these, we have like 10 around the shop. We use them to maintain voltage while we're tuning to keep the battery fresh. And then when the customer leaves, we give them the charger that goes with the battery so they can keep it topped off in their garage. But um, if you want a nice little charger to play around with, this one supplies 15 amps of current. You just hit the button, set it to 15 amps, hit the charge button, and then it'll give you a steady 15 amps of current while you're tuning. Best charger I've found for uh, under 100.